Good morning. I'm, I, I, I'm, hey, my shot. My help. Some of you, listen, I need, I, I need to just walk around this morning. You know, just walk around those Jericho walls. You gotta walk around those Jericho walls. You know why? They need to know that you're around. They need to know that you're not intimidated. You gotta walk. You know, there was a there, there was a man. You know, he, he did something crazy, and I'm only getting the revelation now. You know, the million the, 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 the million man march. Some people just thought that he was just walking, or the people were just walking. See, as they hey as they were walking, they were breaking chains. So God said, You gotta walk this morning. Just walk. I saw you gotta walk. He said, wherever the soul of your foot shall thread, I've given it to you. I'm telling you, listen, you know, I, I you know, I don't I don't say listen, you seen the prayer line. There were so many people on, on, on the seven minutes, seven, seven p.m. prayer. It was crazy. And the business people, we had another crazy time. Mr. Nikki, God bless you. Hallelujah. Jesus. You see how wonderful it is when you learn how to communicate with your God? When you don't rely on nobody? When you learn how to war? When you learn how to grapple, how to fight? You know, Jacob was in a bind. The Bible says that, you know, he wrestled with the angel until the breaking of the day. Because he wasn't waiting for nobody to give him his breakthrough. He knew what he was dealing with. Good morning, mom. Sorry, mama was in a taxi. So, you know, the connection is bad. I just got to... I just got here, but we'll talk. Yes, Lord. Somebody needs to walk this morning. You need to, you need to walk. Listen, the woman with the issue of the blood, she walked to Jesus. She went through, you know, the, the, the crowd. She went through the people in order to get to Jesus. She didn't wait for Jesus to call on her. She walked to him. Some of you need to wake up this morning, whatever is keeping you bound. Whatever is withholding, whatever is preventing you this morning, you got to walk. Yes, Lord, Jesus, walk. You need to tell that beast, tell that demon, I'm coming for you. In the name of Jesus, this morning. Father, we thank you, everybody, just, yes, Lord. Hey, Basha, Halalah Basia. Yes, Lord, I love that get up church. Mm, yes, Lord, let's get up. We've sat down for too long. We've been sitting down for too long. We need to rise up. Hallelujah. Let's rise up. In, yes, Lord, Jesus, take authority. Walk around the walls of Jericho in the name of Jesus. Because listen, the only, listen, I said this to you, the only reason why the walls of Jericho was built was because a rumor, you know, a, 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 a conversation had taken place. And the one who decided to build up the walls of Jericho had heard that there was an army, there was a people coming. And it looks like whatever is in their way, they were able to break through. Are you hearing me? The only reason why Jericho was built, it was built out of fear. See, the only reason why those walls were so high was because somebody had heard that there was a group of people coming who don't take no prisoners. Are you hearing me? And so those walls were built to keep the people from coming inside. Some of you feel as though these things that you're dealing with, you know, is come to destroy you. You know, you, 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 you feel like that thing has power. The only reason why that thing is there is because the enemy has been studying and has been paying attention to you. And the enemy can see you're powerful you have no idea i keep saying this to you how god sees you and how you see yourself is two different things you know because the angel showed up to gideon and he said hey mighty man of valor i could see gideon looking around and saying angel are you, are you, are you talking to somebody else because my name is gideon no one is my name gideon i'm the least in my father's house you hearing me i'm the least in my father's house the angel said listen i don't know what you're talking about but your name is mighty man of valor just communication he received an injection of the, and the bible says this very same man who was scared 
you know, he woke, he, he wrote, he rose up, and those altars in his father's house, he woke up and he broke them down. Let me tell you something, you have no idea. The Bible says before you got in your mother's womb, he knew you, he sanctified, you, he ordained you as a man of God, as a woman of God. What are you waiting for? What are you scared of? Who are you scared of? Who are you scared of? Halalabasia. So this morning, just got to walk. Let the enemy know you're coming. I'm here. I'm not going nowhere. I'm here. Yes, Lord. I ain't going, I'm not going nowhere. I'm here. Halalabasia. I have an agreement. You know, I have a prophecy hanging over my life. There are so many prophetic words hanging over your life. You can't die. You cannot die. You have to live to declare the goodness. Listen, there's, listen, there's something. Listen, God, let the enemies know. Let people know that you're still. He's scared of no commander. I'm telling you, they take instruction from somebody. It's a hierarchy. Everybody takes instructions from somebody. Don't be scared of them. Got to give them. Yes, Lord, to Jehovah. If I listen to what people said about me, trust me, I won't be here today. They called me all kinds of names. They laughed at me. They mocked me. You know, they told me I was crazy. But let me tell you something. They ain't seen crazy yet. Hey, Basha. Yes, Lord. This morning, as you're walking, listen, begin to declare. Begin to declare. Speak to the ground. Listen, the Bible says Cain killed Abel, but when God showed up on the scene, God said, listen, the voice of your brother's blood cries out to me from the ground which has opened up his mouth to receive the blood of your brother. Are you hearing me? The voice of your brother's blood cries out to me. The grounds open up his mouth to receive the blood. The ground that you walk on can hear. Are you hearing me? The ground that you walk on has a womb. The ground that you walk on has a mouth. Are you, are you, are you hearing me? The ground that you walk on has a mouth, has a womb. You need to declare that that which belongs to you will never be swallowed up in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Halalabasia. There was a prophet of God. He placed a curse on the ground. And he said, nobody will be able to build. As a matter of fact, if you build on this land, you will pay for it with your firstborn. That's in the Bible too. No curse. As long as you walk on these grounds, I'm telling you, begin to walk around in the name of Jesus. There will be no curse. Whoever has decreed a curse, whoever has prophesied negative into your life based upon an agreement with the grounds, we disconnect you. Yes, Lord, this morning from the grounds in the mighty name of Jesus. That's why God said, listen, wherever the soul of it, I've given it to you. It wasn't just literally, he said, listen, you have to make an agreement with the grounds that you walk on, that it will work in your favor. Listen, you can, you know, you, 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 you can have a huge land, okay? But listen, if, 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 if that land can't reproduce, it's wasteland. Some of you, the enemy doesn't mind you having land, you know, having a huge massive land. But if that land is toxic, you can't grow nothing on it. You can pour the fertilizer on there, it will never work. Go to Chernobyl, you know Chernobyl is somewhere in Russia, right? Remember that, you know, Chernobyl, disaster. Have you ever heard that? You know, that's where all the nuclear stuff, you know, one of the nuclear reactors exploded years ago. Try go and live in Chernobyl now. If they give you that land in Chernobyl, you wouldn't even take it. Thank you, Chernobyl. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Go do your research on it. If they give you land in that area, you wouldn't take it. You know why? Because it's toxic. You remember what happened in Japan a couple of years ago? People were living in those areas, rich, famous, but they had, you know, they had made it, living good lives, until that nuclear reactor decided to react, turned the whole place upside down. Today, after so many years, you still can't live there. So listen, it is not about the size of the land so much. It is the productivity or the nutrients or watch this now, what you can bring out of that land. Are you hearing me this morning? I sound like Bishop Noah Jones. I sound too smart this morning. Yes, Lord. It is not the size of the land. Are you hearing me? It is what productivity. Yes, Lord. And what you can get from that land. Yes, Lord. Jesus' name. Walking on that land this morning. I decree and I declare. Some of you need to sweep up your home, you know, physically. You know, get a brush, get a broom, 
you know, some of you have hoovers, you know, the cleaner of that house. In the name of the spiritual cleaner, too much mess in your house. Can't even find a spoon, can't even find a fork in the house. Too much mess. You need to clean up your house. In the name of Jesus, Father God, walk around that house. Take authority. You pay the bills. Unless the devil pays your bills, then you can sit down and shut up. But since you pay the bills, you need to begin to walk around and say, listen, I decree and I declare. I take authority in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. I take authority in Jesus' Hey, Basha, you know, I felt that. Halalabasia. Halalabandilibiasha. Jesus. I feel, I feel authority this morning in Jesus. And somebody needs, listen, clean up your house. Get all that junk out. Some of you have been saying, I'm going to do it. This is the time to do it. In the name of Jesus, this morning, walking around, taking an inventory in the name of Jesus this morning. Halalabasia. Jesus. Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, Basha Talala Basia. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, we demand and we command a change. Father, we demand a change in Jesus' name. We demand it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, let it, yes, Lord, let it manifest in Jesus' name. Let it manifest in Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we declare it, and so shall it be, Father God. Halalabasia, Jesus. Begin to walk around. Don't get tired. Halalabasia, in the mighty name of Jesus. The mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Father, you not feel the presence of God. You know that. I carry his presence. I'm infected by the Holy Ghost. Doesn't matter where you put me, I'm going to feel. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. The quickening, you know, the quickening. That's the problem. We don't have the quickening no more. You know, quickening. These 21st century people that think they got the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Basha. The real thing. Hey, Basha. In Jesus' name, the quickening. Hallelujah, Basha. This is, this is the quickening that can bring out the dead. You know, can raise up the dead people. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for your words. We thank you for your power. In the name of Jesus. We declare this morning that so shall it be in Jesus' precious name. Father, let the resurrection power. Yes, Lord. The same power that raised up Jesus from the dead. Let that power flow now in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Hey, Basha. Power. Yes, Lord. Somebody just received a shot in the spirit. I just release power into your hands. Receive it. Somebody that's crippled. Yes, Lord. I know power when I feel it. In Jesus, name, rise up and walk. It's for you, this ri rise up and walk. In Jesus' name. Rise up and walk. Hey, Basha. Halalabas. Yes, Lord. You don't need to be touched. The Holy Ghost is working on you this morning. So rise up and walk. In Jesus' name, rise up and walk. Halalabasia. Jesus. That's the Holy Ghost. It's working on somebody right now. It's working on somebody this morning. I said, rise up and walk. In the name of Jesus. You are in the right place where you are right now to receive. Walk. In Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. I feel him all over me in the name of Jesus father we bless your name we thank you Holy Ghost hey Basha your power is real your spirit is real father I introduce you to some people but I call upon your name Jesus this our God 
you need no introduction holy spirit visit your children this morning lift up every weight and every burden every snare that the enemy has laid for your people this morning we cancel it we cancel it we cancel it we cancel it in the matchless name of jesus now zion god bless you okay go have a blessed day let me tell you something the enemy is defeated god's name is exalted and i'm glad to be a child of god in this season in the mighty name of jesus name god bless you you see how powerful the prayer was on the phone line last night connect back to your god okay talk to him talk more to him than you talk to social media okay try that you see the turnaround in jesus name god bless you god favor you in the mighty name of jesus it is that amen have a blessed day goodbye Halalabasa. jesus yeah, assuming in the prayer line, because you know, I do, I just I point you back. See, I t I step out of the way, and I point you back. The problem is too many people are standing in the way of the people connecting back to God. Okay, Bible says He came unto His own, and His own received Him not, because they want to stand in the pulpit all the time and preach all the time. Let the Holy Ghost do His work. Okay, let Him work. You 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 step back. Okay, let Him work. Okay, that's why you you pray. Halalabasa. Step out of the way. Let him do the work. You can't do it. He can. In Jesus' name. God bless you. I'll see you later on tonight. Just come and pray.